And if you're saying when I go home, it's still going to be the same way. Now what you doing staying there? Back your backs and walk on. Keep it moving. Hallelujah. We ain't meant here to be no punching bags. Hallelujah. For nobody to be walking on us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We come in here to declare the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's on the inside of you. It's on the inside of you. It's on the inside of you. Because no matter how much they try to beat that praise out of you. No matter how much they talk about you. No matter how much people have forsaken you. You serve a God that said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. See, that jailer had yielded his members to the magistrates. And those were the ones that he was obeying. See, he didn't know nothing about Jesus. See, Paul and Silas, they were those examples of Christ. Hallelujah. See, you're going to go places... And you're going to be in situations where people, the only book they ever going to read is you. Because they're going to see and look at the you and the things that you do in God. Hallelujah. And see, you don't have time to be playing. We ain't got time to be playing hip scotch, hop scotch, pity pat, double dutch, a one-on-one -on -one game with the devil. When we feel like we want to lay our religion to the side. But oops, excuse me, your relationship. Your relationship. It's about a relationship. That's why the jailer wanted to know. What must I do to be saved? To see that you're in relationship with a God that I can't even see. My God. Could have been laid up here dead when I came back in here. But God kept you. My God. Could have lost your mind in this cell, but God kept you. Could have took the other brother out beside you, but God kept you. Oh, Lord Jesus, when you think back in your mind, can you think of some things like that? How God kept you. God kept you. Could have been taken out a long time ago. But something on the inside said, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Yes, God. Yes, God. They could have beat him and they could have let him go. Can you imagine to be flogged, to be lashed and whipped, to clothes all torn off, naked, being beat down for righteousness sake? And some of us stump our toe. And we can't even come to the house of God. I was in awe the other night when we were at the prison. When pastor stood up there with a boot and a crutch on. And she preached. My God. Preached. Just like she had preached. Like, like it had been a, a, another Sunday that she had preached. Now, it, it, it didn't even seem like it was anything out of the ordinary about the word that God had on the inside of her. Because see, when you go through things, even when you're in the midst of being wounded, even when you're in the midst of being cut on and put down, God will preserve that thing in you. Hallelujah. Because that God will spring forth. He said, behold, I'll do a new thing. It's a new year. A new you. Bishop preached the spirit to come back. Hallelujah. Go and tell the Lord, make me over again, God. Make me over again. So I can be like Paul and Silas when I'm at my lowest point. And I may want to commit suicide. But then uh, the word of the Lord will come forth and say, uh, He that dwelleth in the secret place uh, of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Uh, and I'll jump up uh, and I'll 
say the devil is a liar. I ain't going nowhere. Hallelujah. The Lord said, oh, clap your hands. All ye people, clap your hands and shout unto God. I'm about to praise on the inside that the devil can't take away. Man can't steal. Hallelujah. Because this joy I have, the world didn't give it to me. The world can't take it away. Hallelujah. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. What you holding? What you holding? What you holding? What you holding? The devil standing there. He likes my sister. Ain't no but space and opportunity between the two of us. What you, what you, what you holding? What you holding? You don't look like much. What you holding? I saw what you was doing last night. What you holding, huh? What, what, what is it about you, huh? What, 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 what you got going on? Just cause you come up in here? What, what, what is it about you? What you holding? What you holding? I, I don't see nothing. Hallelujah. I don't see nothing. What you holding? What you holding? What you holding? But see, the devil didn't know that I hid the word of God in my heart. See, the jailer didn't know what was going on. He ain't seen no Bible. He ain't seen him reading nothing. See, they hid the word of God in their heart. Hallelujah. Set your face, Lord, or will I seek? Hallelujah. Thank the Lord Jesus. See, we got to seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added unto you. Thank the Lord Jesus. He'll impart strength to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He'll give you beauty for your ashes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. A garment of praise with a spirit of heaviness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What must I do to be saved? He told him to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you and your household shall be saved. You and your household shall be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ See, many may come in here and wonder why we holler the way we do, why we dance the way we do, why we minister saying, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise him. Some probably get tired of looking at me. Here she come, praise him. What this song she keeps saying, walking in victory, my God. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. You and your household. A lot of us have stood in our houses. A lot of us have knelt at the altar. Many a Sunday, many a Monday, many a Wednesday. We got our own altars at our houses where we done knelt down at the house and we done prayed unto God. God save my wayward daughter. God save my wayward son. God help my cousin, Lord. Help my uncle, God. Help my aunt, God. Father God, help my mom and my daddy, Lord Jesus. Because Father God, they just turned their back on you, Lord Jesus. Father God, they don't want to even know who you are, God. Father God, they look at me strange, Lord Jesus. But see, they didn't know that you are some peculiar people 
What must I do to be saved? See, when he had talked to him and told him to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you and your household shall be saved, they spoke the word of God over him. They showed him in the scripture what the word of God says. See, you just don't know who God is sending you forth to be a witness to. And you may look at the person and think that they're not worthy. That's why I kept beating up on you and saying, who you, what you holding, what you holding, what you holding. Because a lot of people base you and try to judge the book before, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and.